In chapter 11, we're going to be working with a few different types of hypothesis tests. And in order to choose the correct type, you're going to have to know a couple things. You're going to have to know whether you're working with quantitative or qualitative data, i.e. proportions or means, right? Quantitative being the means, qualitative being proportions. You're also going to have to know whether or not you're working with an independent or a dependent sample, because that will affect which test you can use. Independent sampling is when the individuals selected for one sample do not dictate or have a relationship with the individuals in the second sample. Dependent sampling, also known as often matched pairs samples, is when the individuals selected to be in one sample are used to determine the individuals in the second sample. The most common way for this to occur is a matched pair sample where it's one person matched against themselves, like a pre-test and a post-test, a before and after, or husbands to wives, brothers to sisters. Um, one twin to another twin, that kind of thing. That's a dependent sample. A way to see this is independent samples are two independent groups that are measured one time. So they call up two separate groups of people and they ask them a question. Dependent samples are one group of people, but you measure them twice. You measure one side, then the other side. You measure beginning and end, that kind of thing. All right, so we're going to determine whether the following sampling method is independent or dependent. Then determine whether the response variable is qualitative or quantitative. Qualitative will be working with proportions, section 11.1. Quantitative will be 11.2 and 11.3 when we're working with quantitative means. All right, so they have the accuracy of verbal responses is tested in an experiment in which individuals report their heights verbally and then they are measured. The data consists of the stated height and measured height for each individual. All right, that is very much dependent. You have one group of people asked twice. They've got the verbal and then they've got the tape measure, right? So verbal is the first, right? First is verbal and then the second equals tape measure, right? They're measuring with the tape measure. That means that height is what your variable is, right? So your variable is height. The unit for it is inches. And that means you're going to be doing a hypothesis test for the means because this is quantitative, not qualitative. Quantitative goes with means. All right, now suppose the U.S. Census Bureau publishes information on the ages of married couples. Suppose we want to determine whether in the U.S. the mean age of married men differs from the mean age of, the, of their wives. Well, that's key. It's their wives, right? And this one, by the way, is for each individual, so you can spot that it's dependent. That's kind of the clue, it's dependent. So since it's their wives, that's a dependent sample, right? Husbands and wives are not independent of each other. That's kind of the point of marriage last time I looked, right? So it's one group of people asked twice. The husbands would be the first group. And then the wives are the second group. And then they're measured against each other and they're not independent of each other, right? Because they're married. That'd be different if they asked 50 random husbands and 50 random wives that are not their wives. Well, that's totally different. But we are actually talking about married couples. Married couples are dependent. There, I just tossed that in. Married couples are dependent, don't forget. So now your variable is age and the unit in this case would be years. You measure your age in years. And that'd be, again, a hypothesis test for the means because this is a quantitative variable. Now suppose the Pew Research Center calls a thousand people and asks them two questions. Do you support or oppose the death penalty? Do you support or oppose exonerated prisoner compensation laws? Okay. Well, since they're asking the same group of people two questions, that's dependent as well. But this time it's qualitative. There you go. So first one, first question is death penalty support. Second question is compensation law support. But it's, it's do you support or oppose? That makes it qualitative. And that means you're doing a hypothesis test for proportions. Once this data is qualitative like this, it's proportions that's the test you're doing. And of course, we're going to run into tests of both means and proportions in this chapter.